For some reason, I was genuinely glad to see Anna, my pain in the ass partner. She finally stopped those wicked jokes of hers. Looks like she's ashamed of having left her partner at the battlefield. I didn't take you seriously before, but Hunter, he read you right from the start. He put his trust in you. It took me time. I didn't understand until I saw you in action, and I almost got you killed. <laughs> you don't make this easy for me, Artyom. I'll stop for now. Go on and get ready. The guys are coming soon and we're all going to Aktiabriskaya. By the way, a traveling gun merchant stopped here for the night, so you could take a look at his merchandise. That's a great idea, girly. Help an old man survive these trouble times. Buy some so, guns. So, what's going on? Stalker team is on the move. Should be here within the hour. Great. Sanya! What's new in the air? How's the international <laughs> situation? It's incredible. For ten years, nothing but static. Then, last month, I got St. Petersburg. And they know of us. Somebody flew over there with a plane. A Look, you got nowhere to put this. Real Why would you put that? Ah, that's all nah, news. man, you can't carry that much. What you hear from New York and London, huh? <laughs> Look, you got nowhere to I put this. I don't know about London. Bye, but man. this city up north. Vorania Suri. There's a nuclear power plant. Some people survived there. I talked to them. Barbarians were laying siege on them, but they still held Have you ever forth. been to the catacombs? You're a Ooh, great liar, son. You really old church catacombs. <laughs> right no idea how old they could be. Them the they world. even survived the nuclear bombs. Some people from the church hid here during the war, but they just... they just disappeared. Could have gone to the main metro tunnels, or... Well, people say things, you know? You mean the big mama? Yeah, the wife of Dark Rail Tracer. <laughs> it's just kid stories, urban legends. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're familiar. So, what really is there? We haven't met anything but Nosalysis. That's enough to worry about, so stay sharp. Who might that be? Well, our guys are fast. Check it out, just in case. Password! Rod Block! That's an old one. I know that voice. Shit, I can't place it. Wait a minute. Could it be Lesnitsky? I never served you in the first place. We'll take this one back. No! That's it. Move!
the rays. That's Raider. And our uniform. They took a man, went down in the basement. There's an entrance to the catacombs. Leading to a nice brass gaia. We're going there. That place. Anna.
lead to Octavraskaya. The Dark One is there. Anna is there now too. In the hands of my enemies. The hands of the traitor. Lesnitsky. Negotiating with the order. Just make sure she wears a gas mask. If she's infected, she's dead and of no use to us. So what do we do with her? Log her up and keep an eye on her. Anything happens, it's your head. I'll come get her when we're done here. Save the metro. But... but we're not even feverish. We're... Fire! Can't you hear anything? Even at the point blank range! Unbelievable! Ah, what does it matter? He's gonna die soon anyway. We're here to make sure he does! Finish him!
Now we'll just shoot you. Not here. Let's move out and find the fuck! Hey, you get
Comrade Lesnitsky, the operation is progressing as planned and will be completed within an hour. Well, the experiment has been successful. We need to report that to General Corbett. Will you go? Yes, sir. What's with the broad? Lesnitsky daughter says she's a hostage for negotiations with the Order. Although we all know what sort of negotiations they're having. <laughs>
stand still, or I slit her throat. So, you came for Anna. Very heroic, but not very smart. Here is the deal. You take off your mask, and I give her to you. I'll count to five. Don't do this, Artyom. He'll kill me anyway. He already betrayed us once. One. You're wrong. Two. I never served Miller. Three. In fact, I'm a man of my word. Four. When it's convenient. Five. Why? Why did you do that? <coughs> Hurry! <coughs> we have to get to Cold Surveyor! <coughs> There's Hansa! <coughs> and our men! <coughs> Suffocating would be <coughs> a real shame after <coughs> surviving all that! <coughs> of the puzzle are falling together and the big picture is horrifying and unbelievable I will tell the others about this but I still can't make myself believe it the Reds have infected Oktyabraskaya a peaceful station denizens of which never suspected anything with an unknown deadly virus and then their mop-up squads entered it under the pretense of saving the station from the epidemic and eliminated everyone they could. Women, children, old people. To prevent the infection from spreading. And if all this is true, then me and Anna could be infected too. We've been saved from being killed, but we don't know if we're going to survive for long. I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. I feel alone again. Like when I was a girl and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me. Empty and cold. As if I were just a spark from the fire flying away and then gone. It's hard for me to tell you these things, Artyom. But I want to feel that I'm... alive. Touch me. Well, hmm, there seems to be nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Archeum, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. Oh, thank God. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! Go, Artyom. I'll find you as soon as they finish patching me up. Come here, darling. Don't look there. What's that, Who's Papa? dead? Do you see the face? As if... Looks like... Eight box. <laughs> yes, it's eight. Simetsky, Yuri. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Hey! Anybody? Somebody! 
Hey. Why? What do I do now? God, why? What do I do? Sorry. Doctor. Hush. Well, you know the prospect as well as I. I know. You're not going to get away with this. I'm completely healthy. You might be happy with a corporate. You were instructed on the safety precautions. On the gloves, on the mask. You signed the papers. Yes, I, I did. But the kids, how was I supposed to talk to them with a mask on? They were scared. They were crying. Yes, but you didn't save them, and you doomed yourself. We're short on people as it is, Priturak. You could have helped so many. Yes. Yes, I could. I could. They are killers. All right. Not that we'll start to see the medical treatment. Hey. So, you don't have to remind you about the gloves and the mask. Yes, I know that. Perfect. Now, you take the temperature every hour. Blood samples every three hours. Call me at once, should any parameters deviate from the pattern. So, are you able to isolate the agent? Yes, looks and like it. No. Let's check the facts. It is the Ebola virus. First of all, the line is also dated to the users. Its basics are not 317 to 317. We don't the original source of cases. You can't go in there. It's a high danger zone. It always did. All the previous samples only have new drugs. Doctor, you know I'm no medic. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry, Carl. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected. And they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus, and in its wild form, it remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain, engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then turn harmless. Damnation. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new generation of bioweapons based on this virus being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now, after all these years? Bioweapons? My god. Just in case, I have some Rangers questions. One of them could have brought this surprise from the past to the Metro. <laughs> But I feel perfect! Ah, oh, that's great. I'm really happy for you. Okay. You'll just stay here for a day. It's a quarantine zone, you know. And we'll let you go back to the office. <laughs> so much. Please. Hansa gave you shelter. Stand back. Shelter to I die. I said stand back. So we stay for a little longer. 
Yes, until reinforcements arrive. So what about my luggage? What is it? The refugees sure were left. Gastonman's rangers. Gordon's men clear. I mean, we expect to be met. So, all the stuff still there? Of course. What were you thinking? Well, cancer could not protect the station for but they did provide shelter for the refugees. Perhaps that could help them. It's forbidden without a permit. That's our man. Let this one through. He got a permit. I think you should stock up on filters and ammo, Artyom. We probably won't have such a chance anytime soon after this. There'll be sure good luck in the rangers from here. Why did they fight anyway? What do they care for us or the refugees? That's what puzzles me. Where's the trophy? Nobody Come here, Ancient. I got the great weapons. What are they thinking? Can't fit that much in there. Come on, take a look. Happy to sell, I bet but you don't have this in Sparta. You don't have enough space. Can't fit that much in there. <laughs> Good luck. The Polish Rangers were doing stuff like this from the very beginning. Best choice for the tunnels, Ranger! Look, maybe you should look at something cheaper. Look, Ranger, you guys are great and all, but business is business. A great weapon for a true professional Ranger. This is a great gun in perfect condition. Great value. A great weapon for a true professional ranger. No, ranger, I'm running a business here. I can't afford losses. Best choice for the tunnels, ranger. Your rangers are great to do business with. With business ranger. Come on, yeah. oh, don't be shy. I'm gonna give you a discount. You don't see anything. This ball is since the Spartans handle this. Take note of the funds Hanser expends on this quarantine. And they are generally quite reserved with Attention their money. On the platform. Perhaps Open they the are aiming mark. for an additional trump card to use in negotiations at Polis. Good luck in the tunnels, Ranger! In some other time and place, what happened could be life-changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Korbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. Soon, the leaders of Hansa, Redline, and Reich will meet in Polis, hoping to reach a peaceful settlement on D6. <sighs> but I know the nature of man all too well, Artyom. War is as certain as the fall of night, unless a miracle happens. Come through. Let's go. Well, we won't catch the train with the Dark One moving along the tunnel. But there is another way. We're leaving the station. Here's our pass. All right. Are you going to Polis? No. Open the interline tunnel for me. But the interline is a dead end, and very dangerous. A dead end? No way. 
That's our road to Polis. Open up. Let's go, Artyom. We've got no spares. Come on! I can't keep it open forever! Careful with the generators! As you see, it's no dead end. That's just what the Hanser authorities claim to discourage people from entering these passages. An unprepared man could easily lose his way here. Or even become lost within himself. But as long as you're with me, there is no danger. Most people believe Metro to be just tunnels and stations. A lifeless and soulless conglomerate created by human hands alone. There's a special place in the metro. The few people who come upon it never return. I call it the river of fate because it can change your destiny, wash away the silt of the past, and offer the chance for a different future. It's an abandoned place.
Just some monsters, nothing else. Let's go. Try burning the cobwebs. All right. There's something behind these cobwebs. Intriguing. Is that a sign? The grate is rusted and poorly attached. <coughs> Give me a hand here, Atim. One, two, ah! Continue burning it, Artyom. Look, water. We're almost there. We're pretty close. not get lost in it. Do not rush now, and don't be surprised by anything. It is a strange place.
Familiar scenery? It's the tower. And down there is the city of the Dark Ones. It's the moment you launch the missiles. But that's you. The river will cleanse you. Forgive your sins. You can change your fate. You can do it. Choose your destiny and be free. The Dark One! After him! Faster! Is this where you almost caught him? You must try again, Artyom. The Dark One, he's still at that freak shop, on the train! nearby. Post 13, Post 13, come in. High alert, I repeat, high alert. Red Saboteur sighting confirmed. Your position might be attacked. The evac train is considered our primary target. High alert! Come on, hop in. We need that miracle now, Artyom. Remember everything I told you about the Dark One. You must save him! And then he just might save us all. I never believed him. And that is no surprise. But Khan's words were true. This strange river took me to the past. The moment where I sent out the signal and destroyed all the Dark Ones. And 
then they dropped me off at the place where I can find the last survivor of that race. A helpless and harmless child. Khan called him the last angel. Mom, 
Мама? Мама? Артем, дарлин, you're so big now. Мам, I'm scared. Don't be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of now. Don't leave, Mom. I'm all alone now. You're not alone. You're the first. We remembered you and were waiting. We could remember all the thoughts of our race. And you killed everyone. And now I'm alone. I could not kill him. And while I am alive and my heart is beating, I will protect him. Khan says we will be able to use him to stop the war. Yes, he can make miracles happen, but I don't want to use him. His war was over when I targeted the missiles at his home. His family. Go 
warn the other people are strong. You can kill anyone. I will come with you. A thing you know. I need it. Do not understand yet. Something important.
Watch out! So high, you made the city so huge. Why are your people down there now? Why so few? You humans killed all your people. Strange, foolish, evil. Whatever my intentions concerning him might be, the little dark one just does not seem to care. He keeps following me, as if I never was going after him. As if we were tied together by fate. Time to 
Time we go. You do not see them? You cannot see? Red. Dangerous. Many of them.
Sometimes I see a door. Somebody calls for you from there. Why? We are coming to Polis. Together. Come what may. The little one did not want to leave. Something is holding him. I don't yet get what. Nevertheless, I'm glad it is. Because he is helpful. Somebody there. Hard to see from here. people, afraid of being attacked, but not evil. Where's your identification? I'm not fucking around! Shit. It's alright, people. Stand down. He's a police ranger. Going down to ring? Well, hurry up then. They're all jumpy. Didn't even want to let us through. We're going to rest here for a while. You can do some trading if you want. Let me exchange some ammo for you. You really can't carry that much. Look, buy anything you want. All the ammo is the best quality. I shoot it myself, but a man's gotta eat. Look here, just tell me what you want. I've got it all. That's a great weapon. Suits you perfectly. Buy this one. It won't fail you. Thanks, Ranger. 
Look at the state of this beauty. Not a scratch. A great purchase. Thank you. You should buy something cheaper. Well, see you. Come here, Agent. You do understand I'm not You're a taking too much, really. Stuff. Just the best. Mines are music for your ears when the enemy stumbles upon them. I got the throwing knives. Very good. Look, I have the best of these. You really should buy some. Grenades, I have two. Come on, buy some. These are the best. These are good bullets. Very good. I've got some incendiaries. You can't find these anyplace close. Look, I simply can't sell any cheaper. Sorry. That's a great weapon. Suits you perfectly. Well, we're still here. Talk to me if you need anything. These you can find only here. This is your chance. Don't look at the cases. Look at how these little targets with holes. I even have some mines. I have anything. You need anything? Come back while we're still resting. Come on, don't be shy. Well, see you. Bye, friend. And if you see me, Tell him Piotr said hi. You know. Come on, Ranger. Get some gear. People ahead, waiting for us, eager to kill. Run every inch of this place, like the back of your hand. Yes, come on together. Move out there.
That's it. He's dead! Let's move out and find the fuck!
he saw you have these. Good? Now I know what for. I'll bring more. I heal. I help. Not always enough strength alone. Kulagin, take meeting and follow the path. We might still catch up with the caravan. Klevitsky, stay here. Yes, Comrade Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Enemies are here! What the hell are you doing out in the open? Hide your ass now! Yes, sir! Do I have to guide you ladies by the fucking hand? Tell me your orders! We're to infiltrate the depot and wait for a ranger with a, a beast to appear. And More then we people. kill the ranger and capture the beast. No of us. Very red. Very eager to kill. The ranger gonna give you a hug when he sees you? That the beast will roll over for Tommy Rod? No, sir! Screw up again and you'll be cleaning my boots the same way you kiss your mother. With your fucking tongue. You got that wheel done? Sir, yes sir!
Them again, black and red. They fear and still want to kill you.
ignore him. And he knows you. Of course. Nothing ever happens in D6. Makes you wonder why we have to stand guard. Looks like something important. All right, position taken. Perfect, Lesnitsky. Now it is your turn, Comrade Morozov. We must field test this virus that we have obtained at such risk. I think you had some... Uh... Associates should you go for the task? Yes, Cheslav Andreevich, out of Venice. His bandits think I'm one of them, and if we pay them... Spare me the details. I just need results. Is your task clear, Comrade Lesnitsky? Yes, Comrade General. You killed one of ours. You killed a ranger. Did you think we'd just let you go? We'll see about that. I have a trump card. You. See to it then. And you will have to handle Red Square, Pavel. It's the most critical part, and there's no one else I can trust with it. Do not let me down. I won't, Comrade General. Interesting. But I'm too tired. Need to stop. He is very bad. But you are right. Killing is worse. He who sows the wind shall reap the storm. The Dark One opened up Lesnitsky's thoughts to me. I know all their plans. I know Pavel is going to be at the Red Square. And that's where I have to face him. Before going to Polis. A peace conference is being held there. <laughs> Laughable. The war has already started. It won't stop while there's a person alive in Metro. All trying to stop it could just as well try and stop a tornado with their bare hands. But I still have to try. I have to reach Polis to denounce the liars and face the storm. Shadows here. Money. Don't see me. Don't hear. Alive and dead at once. Very strange. That's them. Strange. I feel 
feel bad down there, you appear. This will help.
I see shadows better. Less life than death. I don't find many of these. Found this, but try not to kill aimlessly.
I'll remember this. He does not understand that he's dead. He's still waiting for his mother. But she is not coming. My neither. Because you people killed them. I know only one way into Polis from here, through the Red Square. The Order keeps an outpost in the St. Basil's Cathedral. I'll get in touch with our men and tell them all I know. And my goal would be just a step away from there.
it will all be over soon. There's danger here, not like before. I feel it, and we'll be with you. We'll tell you what to do.
cannot stand. I will help. Do not disturb them, Martin. Stay close to me. They've been here for so long. Lots of them. But they are all lonely. Only fear and pain. They can't leave. And want somebody to stay with them. Bad people. Many. Very red. Opa! One more! Put your weapon on the ground and hands behind your head! I will be doing the third job! <laughs> well, you're not have to run out someday. You can disregard the order by the weapon, okay? Comrade, we have special orders directly from Comrade Corbett concerning this very ranger. We are to eliminate him. Fire! Fire at will! Don't stand. I will help. No more. Too tired. Attack! Eliminate him! Carry out the order, please!
had a chance. You know you could have stayed at the red line. We would have taken you in. We just had to escape, huh? And then come right here. Even if you fucking had something. Or what, maybe for the forgot all about you? Not on your lifetime, that's on your and you will die. You didn't like it, are you? Didn't know what it's doing, huh? You just have to fly the fucking You decided to show up? <laughs> you got bored, huh? That's for sure! Come on, Ranger! Kill a man like you always do it, huh? Or you're a chicken? You're chicken or what? So, Artyomutka. You're chicken your ass? Huh? No, of course, it's not like burning helpless mutants, I know. He 
isn't red. No anger. Just... Sadness? I don't understand. Jabriskaya was successful. The virus kills fast and goes inert fast. If we can get enough of it, clearing out the whole metro is possible. But we must capture D6 first. Thus, Comrade Morozov, you have only one chance to pull this off. The Order has good fighters, but there are too few of them to cover all the entry points. Our scouts have located a poorly descended entrance through Kremlin. While Miller's at the peace conference in Polis, he will be unable to command his men. That's when we strike. Yes, a week longer, and then comes the dawn of a new age. We have to make it to Polis in time for the peace conference. There isn't going to be any peace. Just war. The last war. Now I know the answers to all the questions. Pavel's head proved to be a real treasury of Corbett's sinister plans. Strange here. Wait. I have to see.
Ostium! Over here! Thank God, you're in one piece. And you've brought a friend. Wait, is this? Artyom, this kid shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, so it is, so it is. A child of the surface, a dark one. No! Don't shoot him, Miller! Then get it away from me! No mask. I should have known. This one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a danger. It seems he is adapting well. Yes, that will keep him alive. May I talk to him, Artyom? Come on, Miller. Put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too. You go on without me, before I give in to better judgment and rid the Earth of it. How is this... Oh, oh, I... I can understand his thoughts. And I can hear yours, Artyom. Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was... adopted long ago. What? Do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you so that they could understand us. What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear. Open this. Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, at the exhibition. It has a strong lock, too. We've yet to break it. What's there? My people. They're inside. Sleeping. Incredible. Look at this. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's... death. Nearby. All around. But I must wake them. Or be alone forever. Now listen. Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hey, hey. Wake, wake up, up you bastards! <coughs> Colonel, can you open the gate where the gardens line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Follow me! He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others. To free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. We already knew of Oktobriska from Khan, and we did confront Moskvin on this, yet he didn't even try to disprove Open it. Gate. He told them by sheer luck their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby, and thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this starting epidemic in its blood. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of it. What can you say for that? Even I would have done the same. But come on, it was Lasnitsky. The yes, agent who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Arthur. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. 
What would be possible? You released the virus. But it's the Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moscow. What can we do? We are not an army. Engage We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, sir. Yes, Moskvin did gear up for war. But after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to okay. peace. We must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin? What difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! Oh, what? Yes, You've got sir. a better idea? You brought this ape here! Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. Please let this work out. And to summarize the official proceedings, I call on the leader of the Red Line, Comrade Mosby, Comrade. And I want everything to you to do Yes, ma'am. We also consider the motion to distribute the wealth of these devices an extremely just and timely solution, taking into account the sad reality of our poor underground world. But I would like to digress. A full-blown war in the metro would endanger the lives of everyone who survived the nuclear apocalypse. It is time for us to stop and think what we people are doing. Stop and think in the name of preserving the humanity as a species. I, as the chairman of the Red Line Coalition, am hereby issuing an official order for the Red Army to cease all military operations. Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards, take this man away. Ranger, stand down! Arthur, little one, it's your turn. Comrade Moscovin, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. <laughs> I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor, 
about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. <laughs> Maxim! Brother, I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink! Sure, brother. What?! It is your life. Forgiveness for me. But even so, what? What was I? I out loud. I see. So you gave me something. Just like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes. I did. I poisoned him. And Corbett. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And... He's storming the D6 now! And there's that virus! And if that falls into Corbett's hands, the end! You but you are the leader! Order him! Call the troops back! You sold them at half! Buy some time to make a deal! What kind of... There's nothing more we can do here. Hurry! Faster! To the platform! Damn them! I'm not surrendering D6! Follow me! It will be bad for everyone if you lose? Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. 
his mother and father. on three sides. My brothers in arms. I am not a man for speeches, but here it is. You are the most dedicated, most courageous soldiers in the Metro. Each of you is worth five reds. If you simply do the job you are trained to do, we'll win this battle. Sparta to battle! Sparta! Sparta! people.
What the hell is this? by the fires of revolution. What a pleasant surprise, Colonel Miller. Or oh, what remains of you? Hartium, it is time. And who may this be? Ah, the resourceful young man. Tell me, Archon, savior of the metro. Where are you going? Stop him! Don't be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of now. defeated our enemies and saved the metro. Was my papa brave? The bravest of us all, because he was never afraid to embrace the things he didn't understand. And where did the dark ones go, mama? Away, to a safe place. But they promised to come back.
perimeter! Cover the exits! Stay alert, men! Save your voice, Kirillo. Here, there are only dead Spartans. <laughs> I feel a bit like Xerxes. What an unforgivable waste of men and resources. So many good soldiers lost. And for what? Police station? The council? Ah, well. All are cleansed by the fires of revolution. What a pleasant surprise, Colonel Miller! Or oh, what remains of you? Hartium, it is time! And who may this be? Ah, the resourceful young man. Tell me, Arthur, savior of the metro. Where are you going? No need for that now. Uman died, like most of the Spartans. Miller survived and is now in charge of police guards, even though he's confined to a wheelchair. And Khan just disappeared. He once told me, what if this little dark one is the last of the angels sent to save us? The fact that the little one came back and brought his kin, maybe that was the pardon and salvation for me, for the Order, for all of us in the Metro. The last light of hope in this kingdom of darkness. It will be better for everyone if we go away, Artyom. But one day we'll come back. I'll be big then. Goodbye, my friend. The Dark Ones are gone. But I know we will meet again. Maybe... They really were sent to save us. Maybe... We did earn forgiveness. When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact, it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. 
That day humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things. Yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did.